as a child of deaf adults, they call CODA. It was normal for me to use exaggerated movements when signing with deaf friends and family. The problem was I hadn't really learned how to drop those traits when speaking in the hearing world, when socializing with people who could hear. So my animated speaking had become kind of a unique accent. So we're at the theater, and it was my turn to audition, and I took my place in the center of a wide circle of other actors, and I read, but I more shouted the lines with intense facial expressions and wild arm gestures. <laughs> I have made up my mind that time will lead a different life from other girls and later on a different life from ordinary housewives. My star has been so different and so full of interest and that is the sole reason why I have to laugh at the humorous side of the most dangerous moments. With frantic motions, the director waved to me to stop. Okay, camera, camera, said, that's enough. Well, Camry, she cleared her throat and bit her upper lip to suppress bubbling laughter. You enunciate very well. And you certainly can project. She, glancing around the room, I, I noticed the other actors were exchanging astonished glances, covering their mouths and snickering. Well, I wasn't sure what was so funny. I spoke loudly and clearly, just like Mom had instructed and the director had agreed. I had nailed it, right? <laughs> if I had been reading for the part of Annie, I may have booked the gig may have booked the gig. Unfortunately, I was auditioning for the role of Anne Frank. 